Hey guys, welcome to episode 1 of Penpa Plus channel. You might be wondering why I'm calling it Penpa Plus even though the website says Penpa Edit. Hold on to your question, I will answer it shortly. So basically Penpa Plus is a web application to create and solve sudokus and puzzles online. It has capability of drawing varieties and different kinds of sudokus and puzzles. You will be surprised on what all things it can offer. You can then later uh, download them as images or also save them in the form of URLs that can be loaded into the browser later for reuse. I also want to share a brief history about this tool. The original author of this tool is Optpan. He's from Japan. And very kind of him that he made this project available on GitHub. When I learned about this tool, I found it very interesting and very useful and important to the puzzle community. So I started working on that. I forked the project on GitHub and started adding more features, uh, made, started making many improvements based on the feedback I get from other puzzle enthusiasts. And since it's kind of upgraded version of the original project, I call it Penpa Plus. So there you go. You have your answer. The structure I will be following in these videos It'll be mainly I will create pretty short uh, 5 to 10 minute videos. I will be covering some basic on what these different buttons mean, different options in the upcoming episodes of Penpa Plus. And then in some episodes, I will pick a particular Sudoku or puzzle genre and show you how you can use this tool to create that particular type of sudoku or puzzle so let's get started for today so as you can see the website is swaroopg92.github.io slash penpa edit you don't need to remember this i will be providing the link to this website in the description of this video so please check it out there then you have some uh, it's called setter mode there is solver mode which i'll show later and then th there are some buttons which you use you can set the base of your grid like it offers different shapes uh, different other parameters to choose from i will cover in details what those different choice are but I just want to quickly go through how this website looks like then you have some additional buttons here to play with the actual elements which you will put on the grid area or canvas which I would call this basically this rectangular area you have a mode, something called mode, which offers you different types of elements which you can insert onto this grid. For the surface, it's basically shading. Then you have line, which you can draw. There is edges, which you go on the edges of the grid. Then a lot of things. You can insert numbers, and then there are different varieties of shapes available to insert again don't get overwhelmed with so many choices or features i will cover them in the upcoming episodes and then you have for each mode you have something called sub mode and style option again it's just different choices you have to have select red color or blue color and different style options you you can pretty much explore uh, what, what you will like in your puzzle. You can also notice that if you hover on these labels, there are some tooltips I added for user use. 
So they basically describe what these buttons do. So you can check that out. Then you have this canvas and grid area where you insert all your puzzle elements. Then you have some buttons which are helpful to user for undo, you can do redo and then there is erase current selection. This is one of the powerful features of Penpa. And I'll share later what this actually does. And then delete, which will basically delete everything on the grid. Then you know, I also provide timer on this web page. So you don't need to, you know, pull up your phones or search for stopwatch online. This website has its have it here so you can if you want to time yourself on creating a puzzle or solving it you can do so here and then there are some additional links which are useful uh, this is my email id if you have any questions compliments always welcome uh, improvement suggestions anything or if you have any questions like i am want to do this can i do this or you know, if you are unable to find something, please feel free to reach out to me. There is some instructions to use this tool, readme file. So feel free to read that. There is some FAQs provided by one of the puzzler staff. I really appreciate and thank him to provide this FAQ page where he answers some of the questions regular questions from the uh, user uh, for the user benefit. I might be covering some of the questions from here in the next few episodes. So I might just, you know, steal these questions from here. And then uh, if you want to see uh, historical changes to this tool, what are features were added recently, you can check out in the change logs. Uh, Sorry, I realized I need to zoom out. Okay, there you go. So, and then you have like credits to see if we all have been contributing this tool, development of this tool. Uh, feel free to check out that as well. So there you go. So uh, I just wanted to provide a brief overview of this tool today. And then in the upcoming episodes, I will cover these things in more detail. If you have any particular question or particular puzzle you want me to cover on how to create those, I'll be happy to do so. Please send me an email or comment on this video and I will take a look at it and cover in the future episodes. And as always, any suggestions, feel free to let me know. I always welcome it. And please don't forget to like and hit the bell icon to subscribe this channel to look out for future episodes and stay up to date. Till then, thank you guys. Take care. Bye.